joined now by the governor of the state of Oklahoma, Governor Mary Fallon. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. Well, it's great to be back. We're glad to have mm -hmm. you. I want to start with this. Did you feel that, that massive earthquake on Saturday? I sure did. What was the first thing that went through your mind when you felt that earthquake? I was shocked. Yes. Actually, I'd gone to Labor Day on Labor Day to the lake at Grand Lake, Oklahoma. And so to be able to feel an earthquake up in northeastern Oklahoma was a really big shock to me. And we all woke up and wondered what was going on. And I knew immediately what it was. And I got on my phone and I went to the Oklahoma Geological Survey mm -hmm. application and started looking at it and then of course started texting my staff and saying, okay, let's make sure we got the, the bridges checked, the dams checked, the roads checked, any infrastructure problems that we might have. And then we have a Governor's Seismicity Council that we've had for over two years. It was activated. It was working together with all the various partners that are involved with us. And thank goodness we have something like that in place. And of course they were communicating, sending me updates from the emergency management office and all the different things going on. And, and the Corporation Commission, I said, let's make sure the Corporation Commission gets in that area and looks at the wells and see if we need to reduce pressure in those areas. So it all worked just exactly the way it was supposed to. So you were happy with the way things kind of went down on Saturday? I was real happy with the response. And, and we've actually had what's called a tabletop exercise with our Office of Emergency Management to be prepared if anything major should happen. Do you think that you and your staff, do you think you've done enough to stop these earthquakes, to prevent these earthquakes? And do you believe right now that these are man-made, wastewater injection? I believe they're a combination of both natural earthquakes, as we know we have, I read one report that we have about 5,800 faults in Oklahoma, which is a lot. And there are some disposal wells that we think have high pressure. They go too far into the bedrock, and we reduced that back over a year ago. In fact, the Oklahoma Corporation Commission is in charge of uh, working on directives, which they've done a, a lot of directives. In fact, they shut down 725 miles worth of well area mm -hmm. for potential earthquakes um, in, in the Pawnee area just on Saturday within three hours after sure. it happened. So I do think we have a good system in place. It's working the way it should be. There are some that are natural earthquakes, and we don't know about this one yet. And there are some that we know have had some small tremors because of disposal wells, which we've reduced back 40% of the volume in the state over the last uh, year. This, this particular earthquake caused an injury. A brick fell on top of someone's head, yeah. had to have stitches. This is obviously damaging people's homes. How do you balance reducing earthquakes but also not crippling the oil and gas industry, which is so so crucial to our economy? And that's the big challenge. You know, that's the big challenge right now. Of course, we've, we've seen uh, 18 months of a decrease in our revenue coming into our state because of the prolonged energy slump that we've gone through. And so there are people who have lost jobs in our state. We certainly see revenue that has been have had shortfalls and we're having to cut back on state some state services itself and so how do you balance between making sure you get exact as much as possible scientific based information and in making decisions about what to do with disposal wells and how to reduce the impact of earthquakes but yet also not kill the economy sure. and to kill people's jobs and their incomes so it is a fine balance but we we're working very carefully to make sure we're making great decisions based upon good information. Some say that you side more with the oil and gas industry. It is part of our economy. And you signed Senate Bill 809 uh, on May 29th of last year, which prevents towns and cities from banning hydraulic fracturing and other oil and gas activity. What would you say to those people who just had their houses damaged when you when you signed something like this into law? Well, and the reason why we signed something like that into law is we don't want a patchwork of laws and regulations throughout the state because it becomes really hard to implement. But when I can work with the Corporation Commission, I can say we need to look at this particular area of the state that's seen more activity. They can do one directive and it's done versus having to go to each different city and try to get the cities to do different things. And so I think it's worked better this way. And, and we are doing everything we can to make sure we're making decisions based on good scientific information. And we have that information mm -hmm. versus cities and towns who may not have the expertise that we have, the Corporation Commission or the U.S. Geological Survey or some of the other experts that we have involved. We had eight earthquakes just on Tuesday. One of them was a 3.7. Uh, most scientists do agree that these are man-made quakes, either whether or not they are reactivating certain faults. Uh, our, the number of earthquakes in our state has gone up exponentially since we have started this wastewater, wastewater disposal. How do you make sure that your legacy is not clouded 
by these earthquakes as the governor of Oklahoma. Well, just I've exact, seen people, people just exactly, comments on Twitter about that. Sure, sure. And just exactly what we did, we two years ago formed the Oklahoma Seismicity Council, which has uh, over 30 people. It includes geologists, it includes scientists, it includes university professionals, it includes the U.S. Geological Survey, the Corporation Commission, and many other folks that are on that, and working with our Office of Emergency Management to make sure that we have a coordinated system of looking at facts and data and information. You know, one of the things we haven't had over the, over the decades is we haven't had all the cooperation that we've had from the oil and gas industry, which is now giving us their factual data based on geological information, which has really helped us. We gave the Corporation Commission a lot more money last year to be able to have better computer systems, more staffing, which has really, really helped. In fact, I met with the Secretary of Energy yesterday and we talked about how much effort we put towards helping the Corporation Commission and doing their job, which regulates disposal wells, not my office, but the Corporation mm -hmm. Commission. So I think we have made good progress in these things, but certainly we're very sensitive to all people who have homes, to all people who have businesses, to infrastructure. I mean, those things affect the state too. I'm a homeowner too. Sure. And so it, it does concern us. Absolutely. So. Uh, and, and by the way, the, the uh, earthquake numbers have gone down tremendously this year. Now granted, when you had the Pawnee earthquake, you had different uh, smaller earthquakes that came along with that, which is normal, mm -hmm. that, nor that happens with, with an earthquake, but we've seen a, a tremendous reduction this year so far with the number of earthquakes that we've had. With the number of earthquakes, but that was... Because of our efforts that we've taken. Sure, sure, and I don't want to take away from that, but that is the largest earthquake that our state has ever seen. Sure. Yeah. You know, I had one major producer call me the other day and he said, you know, we want to do everything we can to help you make sure we're getting accurate information on science so we can alleviate any earthquakes that might be dis might be caused by some of the disposal wells in areas. And he said, it's not good for us to have that happening, have earthquakes happening, because we don't want to see the industry shut down because of jobs and economy. So we want to help you with any information that we can to, so they're playing ball with you too, is Absolutely. what you're saying, the oil and Absolutely. gas industry. It kind of leads to the next question, which would be diversifying the economy a little bit so we're not Absolutely. as reliant on oil and, and natural gas and maybe we can step back a little bit from the wastewater injection and hopefully alleviate some of these earthquakes we continue to see. That would be a different interview. We don't have time for that today, and unfortunately. We are doing, and we are doing that too. It's going great. Diversifying the economy. But on a lighter note, you have a, you have a house party coming up. You have September Fest. You're uh, inviting people over to the governor's mansion to come hang out with you. Tell us about this event and what exactly what exactly this is. Well, September Fest is a great event. It's been over 20 years that we've been having this at the Oklahoma Governor's Mansion and the Oklahoma History Center. It'll be this Saturday from 10 to 4. The Governor's Mansion will be open for free tours from 11 to 4 also. It's a, it's a festival just to celebrate all that makes Oklahoma great. Come over to the History Center on Saturday. Rain or shine because we may have a little bit yeah, of, we might. of rain. But that's okay, we've had rain before. A lot of it will be indoors, a lot of it will be outdoors. There'll be all kinds of booths from arts and crafts to music to theater to chuck wagon cooking to um, little things that kids can jump and bounce on and play on. Will you be there? Oh, yeah. You'll yeah, be there too. Absolutely. And, and you meet my husband, meet, Wade Christensen, and I. Wade will be there. Be there the the family. Great. Yeah. So, do, do people have a chance to come up and, and chat with you a little bit? Absolutely. And meet, meet you? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. So, it's, it's a time for us just to celebrate the fall, to get ready for it. And there'll probably be, I mean, sometimes there's up to 10,000 people that come to wow. it. And okay. it's free. It's free. That's the big thing. It's free. Um, all right, Governor Mary Fallon, thank you so much for taking some time to chat with us. Hope you guys have a lot of fun on Saturday. And uh, come back. Come back and see us. We love having you on the news. Cast, and Oklahomans love hearing from you too. So we certainly appreciate your time. And yeah, have fun again Thank on this you. on this Always Saturday. Great to see you. Good to see you.